Hey, 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 Capricorn. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Cappies, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Capricorn, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. You have the Judgment card for your overall energy, Scorpionic energy. The Nine of Swords, that seems to be coming out a lot for the signs. You have the Eight of Wands, the Six of Moons, and the Sun. Oh, I like this. So some of you could definitely be reuniting. You've got two reuniting cards here. There's a lot of anxiety and fear surrounding this, but there's a lot of passion and happiness. This person could be at a distance. It could be a Leo, a Scorpio. Tell me about judgment. I'm hearing seeing the light of day. This could also be an awakening. Hmm. You're, you're making some sort of judgment call here, a decision. And it's because of this, of some sort of illumination, but it is making you nervous here. Queen of Swords. Yeah, so there could have been uh, some sort of truth that was revealed here that came to your attention. Ace of Wands. Wow, so there's a new beginning, a passionate new beginning. Ten of Wands. So this could be somebody that you work with, but this decision has been weighing on you for quite some time. And I do feel some sort of communication. You found something out. And this was illuminated. Spirit made sure you found this out. And they're confirming that. So there was information that you needed to make this decision. So that was sort of the final straw, the last straw, so to speak, to this decision. Very interesting. All right, let's get a kipper here. Poverty. There's been a feeling of lack within you. Could be lack of money, lack of love, mm, lack of money, great fortune, next to poverty. So you may, may have been busy working a lot too, working towards something you're passionate about here. Okay, let's clarify why you're so anxious. This truth could involve money as well with the Queen of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. King of Moons. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Knight of Swords. That's communication from Spirit. I'm telling you, this information is coming from Spirit. And you may be anxious. What do I do with this information? The lovers, there's that choice. This is a love choice and you're racking your brain. But this, when this information comes in, that's going to seal the deal. Yep. Something, if I can get it up. Something is changing. Definitely changing. And you know that. And it's a big change. And that's another reason why this anxiety and fear is overtaking you here. 
All right, so tell me about the Eight of Wands. Six of Swords. So you could be uh, moving. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this could be happening quick. Or somebody could be moving towards you very quickly. All right, but it's very passionate. Temperance. I told you, the angels are making sure you're on the right track here with temp yeah see you're on the right track they're making sure you're on the right track here this is why you're getting this information and being redirected mature man so there could be an age difference here or you could be maturing here or this could just involve this other person a mature man one of the people anyway because this is a choice between two with a lover's card so tell me about the six of moons so this is reminiscing about the past yeah because this is a re you know the judgment and the six of moons reunion wheel of fortune that is change for the better they just said the empress it could involve a taurus or a libra the page of swords hmm yeah that's you thinking about the past about this individual about change about where you want to go on this path over here It's feeling the love, feeling into this love, concern. Ah, uh, that's why you've got anxiety. You're concerned. What if it doesn't go right? What if, what if we're not going to be able to build together with the 22 there, the official person? Let me get one more. Mature woman. So you know this person is for you, but there's concern there because it's a big change with the change here you may see this as a huge risk right tell me about the sun but i feel like you just have to trust it three of wands no risk no reward as they say yep there's your path again it's like you gotta believe it you gotta believe it to see it truly that's magic two of moons Two of Cups. So there is, the, your happiness is here. Is here. A lot of love, a lot of happiness. Again, you get distance here. The Chariot, yeah. So somebody's moving. Cancerian energy could involve a Cancer here. The Moon. That's that Queen of uh, Swords thing. Yep, something came to light. It could be around this full moon, too. This could seal that deal around this time. All right, so let's get a... Um, oh, wait a minute. I didn't get a Kipper card for this over here. Main female. See, we have the main female and we have mature woman. So you're choosing between two. One could be the mother of your children with the empress. Okay, so maybe that's why that concern is coming over that. Hmm. Okay, so let's get an angel number. Let's see. Let's see what number for Capricorn. 24. I am generous. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. So remind yourself of these attributes, Capricorn, especially when you're in this Nine of Swords moment, okay? Center yourself with this. 
All right, Cappies, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Information can be found in the description box below. Make sure you're clicking on the link in the description box. There are scammers out there and about. Um, don't forget, you'll always see my face in a reading if you order one from me, as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.